I'm walking up to the creek right now. We drink our creek water. And I'll show you how we do that. <clears throat> my family's been drinking this creek water for a long time. My uh, grandma and grandpa drank it and they didn't filter it. <laughs> we do filter it. I'll show you the uh, filtration system. But yeah, this is the, uh, this is the creek from where our water comes. So it comes from way up there, meanders through here, and they call this a headworks. And we did a video on cleaning out this headworks, but at least where we live, or at least where we live, water rights are use it or lose it. So we maintain this water and we use it. There's a little dam gate here. It's made of wood, so we can pull it out every season or every other season and clean out this area because it gets full of silt. <clears throat> and there's a pipe down here that our water goes in, and then it just gravity feeds back to the house. Somebody must have dug this by hand a long time ago. What a pain in the neck. This is kind of cool over here. Well, we'll go see on the other side. There's a, a culvert that grows under this cedar tree, or the cedar tree grows over the culvert, I guess. I guess a cedar grows next to it. That's not a cedar. That's pretty cool. All right, the dam looks good. <clears throat> Walk up to the house and we'll uh, Look at the uh, filtration system that we're using to uh, drink this uh, creek water. So here's stop number one for our creek water. Well, actually, it's not stop number one because there's a couple faucets up there. The water comes out, but stop number one for the house. So this is a thousand gallon holding tank here. And the water just... Uh, comes in, I've got it turned off right now, into the tank. <laughs> this is an, an overflow, just in case uh, we get too much water in there. And then uh, goes out to the house. Um, this has been a good little system, except it froze recently, and I don't know, the pipes got a little cold, so this is all getting walled off now. So that'll solve that problem, I guess, from freezing. Um, there's a valve inside it. We'll, we'll take a peek real quick here and see if it's working right. Oh, the ground's a little soft. This uh, ladder's squashing into the ground a bit. Okay, let's see if I can get up here without breaking my neck real bad. I need two hands for this. There we go. Yeah, water comes in right here, and uh, water goes out here, and then there's a pump down inside here to pump the water out. We'll turn this valve on here. So right now it's full, so the float's up, but a pretty good flow from that creek because we're downhill from it, and then it's supposed to turn itself off. This is a what is this? A topaz? Valve, this is the second one we've gotten. First one wouldn't close when the, when the float went up. This one will kind of 
get stuck in this little drippy mode sometimes. So I'll, I'll just turn off the water when I'm thinking about it. But a thousand gallons, it lasts just a few days. But I think once this all gets enclosed here, this will really, really, really cut down on the freeze factor on these pipes. So, all right, let's go inside and check out the business here. When we first moved in, this cellar was always full of water during the winter. Now it's got Dahlia tubers in it, and I've got some insulation in here because we're going to use insulation for the wall and a sump. And I jackhammered this hole and put a sump pump in there to keep this place dry. But uh, let's start at the start. So we've got a uh, water line that comes in from the creek and then goes to the tank, <laughs> and then the water comes out from the tank. And there's a little pressure kicker here and this sub drive connects so this connects to the the pump that's in the water tank and pressurizes it we got it set to like 44 or 45 psi this thing's kind of neat it'll like shut off everything if you're running it like a low psi for a longer period because it's like leak detection or whatever but either way we get a little extra pressure kick this gives you like constant pressure i think is what that thing does and then we go into our filters here. Um, first filter we hits a sediment filter. So these are pretty just common everyday big blue sediment filter. And then we've got this one is the one doing all the work. So this is a this is an ultra filtration unit. So this, this is just a membrane that ultra filters the water and these are not cheap. And once they're done, they're done. You gotta completely replace them. Um, so it has a backwash mode. So it'll like shut itself off from the house supply and then dump the dirty water that it pulls out of its filters down into this hole where the sump is. So it does that like every thousand gallons. And to keep this thing lasting longer, We've got this unit, which is a, a, a chlorine unit. So it basically chlorinates the water that's inside this filter when it's cut off from the household, when it's doing its regen cycle, washes out the filtration unit, and then it flushes that water into the sump along with all the, the bleach that was in it and chlorine or whatever. And then it fills it back up with fresh water from our holding tank. Um, from here, we go into these two pressure tanks, and this was kind of an unusual thing that I came up with with my well guy. Was, and the idea here is we have water under pressure that goes to the house. So it goes through these pipes and back into the house. Um, so if the power goes out, we still have some water under pressure. You can finish your shower or whatever um, with pressurized water. If we just had the tank as soon as the, the, uh, the uh, power goes out, we have no pressure because there's not enough pressure from the water in the tank to push itself through all the lines and then into the house. Now, if we really need to, we can take all of this out of the equation, shut it all off and just pipe straight from the creek into the house without going into the tank. And that's the way this house was for years. It was just, it was just water pressure from the water coming downhill. So the first, first floor had water pressure, second floor, not so much, you'd get a trickle in the in the summer maybe maybe a little pressure during the winter but this filtration system you know it's really important to have this you know you can drink that creek water it doesn't make you sick um you might get a little tummy ache sometimes but having this ultra filtration system cleans out all the all the ookies um from here after it comes out of these tanks it does go through um another uh, big blue and then a uv system I think these might be a little gimmicky, but I don't know. If you got it, you may as well have it. So from the UV up to the house. So uh, that's it. I mean, that's how we drink our creek water. Um, 
Again, my family drank it for years. You kind of get used to it, but it's nice to have it filtered and it's really nice to have higher pressure. So this was not a cheap system, but you know, buy once, cry once, I guess. Um, so for the future here, I've actually run new lines. Um, this, this is a new water line that's going to go to that creek. I just haven't finished digging the trench out to it. Um, I've gotten about halfway there and then I stopped. So we'll have a, a brand new water line coming in because the water line that comes in from here is pretty old. Um, but you've got to keep your water rights maintained, at least in Washington. If you don't use it, the state can come in and say, no, these are, this is unused water. You can't use your creek water anymore. And we have the rights to use it for, for uh, irrigation and for, for drinking for household use. So. You know, check, check uh, if you have water rights at your place. If you do and you have a creek, this is a great backup system. Um, you know, we have a well as well, but we actually get faster water and more water from the creek. So by maintaining that usage of the creek um, in conjunction with the well, we keep all of our water rights. So this might not be interesting to a lot of people, but hey, it's what we do um, to have a really cool filtration system. My buddy Juan uh, did this from Total Wells. So you can check him out if you live in Western Washington. If you live farther away than that, he might not be able to come to you. But yeah, really cool system um, to uh, get water up to our house. All right, that's it. We drink creek water and we haven't uh, gotten bugs in our brains. <laughs> we'll see you.